Welcome to All My Traveling Guys. My name is Raul. And I'm Alejandro. And today we're here in beautiful sunny Miami. Well, not so sunny today. <laughs> not the best weather, but we're here for 24 hours. And while it's not a lot, we're going to show you a little recap, a little snippet of things to do, where to eat, and places to go check out while visiting Miami to help you plan your next trip. But I mean, I'm done for all that, but why don't we, let's get some food first. It is the start of the day, so let's, uh, what do you think? Pastries? Some pastries, some, some pastelitos. pastelitos. And some café con leche. Ooh. Let's get it started, let's, let's go, get the let's day go. started. Hi guys, we are here at CAO. Cuban American Original. Cuban American Original, one of my favorite pastry spots that I found last time I was here visiting Miami and by far one of my favorite ones in Miami. Hi hey guys, we just ordered our pastelitos. I'm excited. Oh, yes. What'd you get? I can't wait. I got me an empanada de carne and a pastelito de guayaba. That means guava pastry and an empanada is a beef. Patty. Beef patty, yeah. Beef patty, yeah. And I got two patelitos where I like queso and one empanada de carne as well and one croqueta. I got all that. He went in, he went in. But we also got the Cuban coffee. You can't come to a bakery yeah. without getting Cuban coffee. And I got a cafe con leche, which is Cuban coffee with milk. This one right here is called the croqueta de jamón. I'm croquette, my favorite. Oh yeah, it's a classic. Always gotta try a croqueta when you come down to Miami. We made it to South Beach, but there's a problem. Look at that. But there's, the sun is right there. The sun is right there. So that's the one thing about Florida is that I'm in, I'm, I'm in the middle of speaking oh, to them. Oh, sorry. That's the one thing about Florida is that it rains, it stops, it rains, it stops. So even though the forecast showed 60% chance of rain while it is raining, look at this. It's already starting to clear up. Yeah. Weather the rain and then enjoy the rest of the day. So we're about to go get some uh, some workout in at Muscle Beach. We're here in Miami Beach. So naturally we had to hit up the beaches, yes, right? Sir. And look at this water. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Really nice. Uh, ooh, and it feels really great. Nice and warm. This water is perfect. Now, as you can see right behind me, you have the rain clouds. And over here, super sunny. This water is nice. I'm pretty impressed by the water right now. The quality, you can see right through it. Look at that. So usually when I visit any city, I like to get a workout in and I visit the local Planet Fitness. But in this case, we're here in Miami Beach, so we're gonna check out Muscle Beach. Oh yeah, here we are. The best part about it is that it's completely free. All you guys gotta do is just park somewhere, come work out, and enjoy it. Nice outdoor workout. But you know what, let's take advantage of the sun, the heat. Let's get a workout in and let's do it. All right, let's go. For the first workout of the day, we're gonna get some pull-ups in, just like Alejandro's doing right now. Let's go. That was a good warm-up. Yes, sir. But one thing I noticed is that most people here don't wear t-shirts. No, they don't. That's uh, very iconic for Muscle Beach. And uh, we have a, we have somebody here. Are you done yet? Uh, we're almost we're done. Almost yeah, done. almost done. So she's been following us around, wanting to show us her, her sandcastle. Yeah. But we're in the middle of uh, filming this for you guys. So we're going to check out her sandcastle very quick. And we'll be back to the we'll, workout. We'll come right back. All right, we'll be back. Okay. Let's, yeah. see the, let's see the sandcastle. All right, guys. So as we were saying, most people here don't wear t-shirts. That's, no. that's what we noticed. And we didn't bring any sunscreen. Yeah. So uh, we may join that. You guys don't have to. But in our case, we're gonna take this off because yeah, we're sweating we right through this. We don't want a farmer's tan or anything like that. <laughs> we don't want that. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, let's get it done. <laughs> Just like that, we completed a 30 minute intense workout station here at Muscle Beach. That was no joke. We decided to go with the city bikes. We got it for 30 minutes, which is about $5.30. Yeah. Uh, we saw a juice stand over there, so we're gonna get some fresh juice right now and explore the rest of South Beach. And I also got my 360 camera right here. I look like a freaking tourist. So they have little kiosks all over the beach, fruit juice, smoothies, and all that. We ended up going to this coconut market spot where they have coconut juice, coconut water, coconut smoothies, coconut ice cream. And we ended up going with the coconut smoothie. It's not cheap. $28, right? Yeah, like 14 each. For two of them, but it's well worth yeah. it for this oh, yeah. nice sunny day. Definitely. <laughs> now it's a nice sunny day, right? Oh my God, what a bipolar change, oh my God. <laughs> Guys, as we were riding the city bikes, we were about to leave. We're gonna go to Little Havana and we saw the Clevelander and it was popping, right? Yeah, it's going on. I think they got a pretty good DJ there. Yeah. So like, it was like, let's check it out. We can't so miss that. We're gonna check it out, but I wanted to show you this very quick. Look at this over a hundred degrees it is hot right now july 15th over a hundred so with that being said 
prepare yourself because it's gonna be a hot one whenever you guys come here to visit. Hi guys, we are here in the Keemlander. You can see it's popping over here. Here we are, baby. So, and it's scorching hot right now. I got a frozen drink, you got a frozen pina colada. This is gonna be intense right now, crazy. Miami, baby. Uh, this is another side of Mama's traveling that I've never done before. The fun side. The fun side. Well, we've never showed it before, right? Right, right, right. So we're here inside. We're here in Miami, right? We gotta enjoy. I gotta bring in a uh, daiquiri, you gotta bring in colada. Yeah. And we're here at the Cleveland, they're in the pool. See what you got. Yeah. Having a great time. Just a little mingling. That's it. In Miami. With the Miami heat. This sun is hot. Nah. Hey. Hey. Bro. Cheers, bro. All right, guys. We just left South Beach. We're here in Little Havana. As you can hear, the, the roosters <laughs> cacaoing away, right? Yeah. So we're going to get some lunch, some desserts, some churros is what I want. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, I know you've been talking about ice cream all day, too. Yeah, yeah it's, it's freshened us up. There's a good ice cream spot here. And yeah. there's also Domino Park and a whole bunch of other iconic places you need to check out when visiting Little Havana. But yeah, bro, we can't go like this. Especially for you and that Fruit of the Looms tank top. Fruit of the Looms? No, it's not Fruit of the Looms, but still, yeah, we can't go like All right, this. let's change very quick. All right, now we're looking halfway decent. So, yes, what are you sir. thinking? Sandwiches or an actual meal? I guess a sandwich. Let's get some sandwiches. I know the right spot. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So, right behind us, we have Azugar, which is an ice cream spot. However, we need to get some... <laughs> There's a baby that's crying. <laughs> we were trying to get away from her, and she just keeps on crying. Anyways, Azugar is right there, right behind us. But we're going to get something to eat very quick at Old Havana. This guy wants a sandwich, so I'm going to show him where one of the best sandwich spots yeah. here in Little Havana is at. All right. And then we're going to get you and I drink. But I want churros. And if you guys don't know what churros are, yeah, but churros, you cannot not get churros. All right. If you're visiting Miami. So we're going to do both. You get ice cream yeah. so we can show them how azuka looks like. Okay. And then I'll get churros. Sounds good. Sounds good. So this right here is Domino Park. And although it's closed right now, I do have footage from last time I came. So I'll definitely pop it up here right now so you can see what how it looks like. But I highly recommend you guys make it a point to check out Domino Park. You have all these senior citizens, members only and age restricted that could only go in there but it is an amazing place to go check out and just see the energy of everybody just you know spending time playing dominoes it's truly magical and this guy right here is dancing he's loving little havana right now. we are here at old havana the line was pretty long but it's got me worth it he got his uh what you get a traditional panko bistec and i got the panko lechon which is a pulled pork sandwich panko bistec means steak sandwich now this one has uh, sauteed onions on top of it as well as little potato sticks and mine is just pulled pork with sauteed onions. But I got something different this time. I've never had this in my life, never heard of it. It's called Moto Balls, right here. And essentially it's just uh, rice with beans, fried with some Swiss cheese and some onions. I've never heard of it, nor have I ever had it. So this will be a first for me. Dig in and enjoy it. All right now. That food was delicious. In, it was delicious, but it was filling. But we also said we we're gonna get churros and ice cream. Are we getting both or just sticking to only churros? We're really just gonna stick to the churros that day for now. Right. Yo, these churros are amazing, watch. This is what I'm talking about here, churros right here. Sorry, I was, I was salivating. It looks great. This right here is an eight count. Definitely enough for two people, yeah. but I know I can turn this down on my own, but not today. So what flavors did we get? We got, you see the white layers on top? This is leche condensada. Mm -hmm. And the brown on the bottom, this is dulce de leche. Dulce de leche, my favorite. Yes. But that leche condensada, that's, that's yeah, where it's at right there. It's different, right? Let, let's dig in, man. Let's do it. Oh, bro, you look so good. Yeah. You, you guys gotta make it a point to come here. I'm telling you right now. I'm so addicting, oh my God. Not hyping it up for no reason, but they're so good. Although we're not gonna get ice cream, I'm gonna show you inside how it looks like because this thing is packed right now. Very, very popular. Let's go inside, take a I mean, quick peek. Yeah, just, just a little quick peek. Yeah. yeah, way too busy. Plus, we don't want it, but I'm telling you right now, it is good. I've been here before and it is pretty good actually. Yeah, I have to try one day. Other spots to visit here at Little Havana. There's one more spot that I, I may recommend to you guys to visit. It's called La Sandwiche, um, which it is, pretty good it's decent it's it's uh it's very popular on instagram on social media but it's not my favorite sandwich spot here in little havana the one we went to was actually pretty good yeah but this one i, I definitely recommend give it a try aesthetically it looks good the sandwiches are good indeed but they're not like your typical truly authentic cuban sandwiches good morning guys 24 hours in miami 
Oh, I'm B. I am B too. Before we head back out to Jacksonville, I had to make a pit stop here at one of my favorite bakery spots in Miami, Party Cake Bakery. They have several throughout Miami. So when you visit Miami, make sure to give these guys a try because I'm telling you right now, they are good and really good for pastries and cafe connection right here. Oh yes, a must. I know it's not everything to do in Miami, but at least we showed you a little bit of what there is to do, at least in South Beach, because I think we hung out right. most of the time in South Beach, right? Yeah. We hope you enjoy Miami, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Yes, sir. Cheers. Cheers. So good.